Seeger of Brabant, Sigerus, Sigier, Sigieri or Sigerius de Brabantia, c. 1240 before the 10th of November 1284, was a 13th century philosopher from the southern Low Countries who was an important proponent of Averroism. He was considered a radical by the conservative members of the Roman Catholic Church, but it is suggested that he played as important a role as his contemporary Thomas Aquinas in the shaping of Western attitudes towards faith and reason. Life Early life Little is known about many of the details of his life. In 1266, he was attached to the Faculty of Arts in the University of Paris at the time when a riot erupted between the French and Picard nations of students a series of loosely organized fraternities. The papal legate threatened Seeger with execution as the ringleader of the Picard attack on the French, but no further action was taken. Works <laughs> <laughs> In the ten years following the riot, he wrote the six works which are ascribed to him and were published under his name by Pierre Mandonet in 1899. The titles of these treatises are De Anima Intellectiva 1270, Quaestiones Logicals Quaestiones Naturales De Eternitate Mundi Quaestio Utrum Haec Sit Vera, Homo Est Animal Nullo Homin Existant Impossibila Topic. Rectorship Topic. In 1271, he was once more involved in a party struggle. The minority among the «nations» chose him as rector in opposition to the elected candidate, Aubrey de Reims. For three years the strife continued, and was probably based on the opposition between the Averroists, Seeger and Pierre Dubois, and the more orthodox schoolmen. The matter was settled by the papal legate, Simone de Brienne, afterwards Pope Martin IV. Seeger retired from Paris to Liege. Time in Liege Seeger was accused of teaching double truth, that is, saying one thing could be true through reason, and that the opposite could be true through faith. Because Seeger was a scholastic, he probably did not teach double truths but tried to find reconciliations between faith and reason. In 1277, a general condemnation of Aristotelianism included a special clause directed against Boetius of Dacia and Seeger of Brabant. Again Seeger and Bernier de Nivelles were summoned to appear on a charge of heresy, especially in connection with the Impossibilia, where the existence of God is discussed. It appears, however, that Seeger and Boetius fled to Italy and, according to John Peckham, Archbishop of Canterbury, then perished miserably. Death The manner of Seeger's death, which occurred at Orvieto, is not known. A Brabantine chronicle says that he was stabbed by a seemingly insane secretary a clerico suo quasi dementi. The secretary is said to have used a pen as the murder weapon and his critics claimed since he had done so much damage with his pen, he deserved what was coming. Dante, in the Paradiso, by .134-6, says that he found death slow in coming, and some have concluded that this indicates death by suicide. A 13th-century sonnet by one Durante XCII.9-14 says that he was executed at Orvieto, a guiado at Fe. Morira Gran Dolor, Nella Corte di Roma ad Orbavieto, the date of this may have been 1283-1284 when Pope Martin IV was in residence at Orvieto. His fellow radicals were lying low in the face of the condemnations of 1277 and there was no investigation into his murder. In politics he held that good laws were better than good rulers, and criticized papal infallibility in temporal affairs. The importance of Seeger in philosophy lies in his acceptance of Averroism in its entirety, which drew upon him the opposition of Albertus Magnus and Aquinas. In December 1270, Averroism was condemned by ecclesiastical authority, and during his whole life Seeger was exposed to persecution both from the Church and from purely philosophic opponents. 
Topic: Cultural references. Topic. In Dante Alighieri's The Divine Comedy, Seeger of Brabant is found in the fourth sphere of paradise for being a positive example of prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude. Topic. See also Topic. Averroes University of Paris Condemnations Topic. References Topic Topic Sources Topic On the Eternity of the World, Trans. Lottie H. Kinjirsky Marquette Up, 1964 Mainly translations from Thomas Aquinas, but the book includes selections from Seeger of Brabant. Hisset, R. 1977. Enquete sur les 219 articles condamnés à Paris le 7 mars 1277. Louvain, Publications Universitaires, Paris, Van der Oyes. Mandonet, P. 1908-11. Seeger de Brabant et l'Avervoisme Latin aux siècles, Les Philosophies Belges V7, Louvain, Institut Supérieur de Philosophie, 2 vols. Rubinstein, Richard E. Aristotle's Children, How Christians, Muslims, and Jews Rediscovered Ancient Wisdom and Illuminated the Middle Ages. New York, Harcourt, 2003. Van Steenbergen, F. Maitre Seeger de Brabant, Louvain, Publications Universitaires, Paris, van der Oyes. Tony Dodd, The Life and Thought of Seeger of Brabant, 13th Century Parisian Philosopher, An Examination of His Views on the Relationship of Philosophy and Theology. E. Mellon Press, Lewiston 1998, ISBN 0-7734-8477-9 A. W. Dionundis, Master Seeger's Dream, What Books Press, Los Angeles 2010, ISBN 978-0-9823542-7-8 this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Seeger de Brabant. Encyclopædia Britannica. 25 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic. External links Topic. De Eternitate Mundi, translated into English by Peter King, Professor of Philosophy and of Mediaeval Studies, University of Toronto.